Good morning. Oh, not again. <laughs> well, good morning, everybody. Welcome. Welcome back to Scaly Sunday. Uh, I see a couple people are hopping in the chat already. Uh, let me see who got who got first today. It was Fivel who got first today. <laughs> Congratulations on your first Fivel. Uh, and who else we got? We got Ampillion. Uh, we got Delightful Dilophosaurus. Welcome on in. We got Thunder the Cody. Welcome on in. And I am working on doing some shout outs right now. Oh, Lady Flim in with the 450 uh, Trilbies for her 50 stream streak. And Jackalopes is here. Welcome in, Jackalopes. I'm getting I'm getting the shout outs in a little. It's, Twitch makes me wait between shout outs, but we're getting we're getting them in. Uh, and I might as well just act do actual shout outs. Hype it up. Uh, Fivel here who got first today. He is a gator cow, uh, also a PNG tuber. He um, he's been playing through the Resident Evil series. Looks like he's on Resident Evil five now. Uh, he's he's blowing through these games like he's he's zooming through Resident Evils, uh, <laughs> making good time on them. I mean, not like he's not like trying to speed run, but he's just he's zooming. Uh, he's having a good time with him, and I think that's why he's getting through him so fast. <laughs> he's 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 going. <laughs> and Ampillion also streams uh, from time to time. Has been playing Dwarf Fortress. Uh, Amp Amp is got some pretty cozy vibes. Uh, he also does retro games time to time, um, and has some pretty cute frog emotes. Uh, Amp has a big bean bag, which he will occasionally be gaming from. Uh, and, and Delightful Dilophosaurus, welcome on in. Uh, uh, Thunder, welcome on in. I don't believe you guys, and Jackalopes, welcome on in. I don't believe you guys stream, but if you do stream now, let me know. Uh, Lady Flib, however, does stream. Lady Flib is a streamer now. Let me shout her out. Lady Flib, who was last playing uh, System Shock. She was actually trying out a couple different games yesterday. Uh, she well, a little bit of tech issues, but she was trying out a couple different things. Uh, she was, she was, <laughs> Let me give her a shout out, actually. Uh, shout out, Lady Flib. So she streams after my- oh, I gotta wait. She streams right after my Deus Ex segments. Uh, but she was also- she's also been playing Super Tux Advance, which is a, uh, game- a game about the Linux Penguin, uh, and made by an, a fellow streamer here, uh, uh, Kelvin, Sh Kelvin Shadewing. And it's about a penguin, so of course, on brand. Uh, but she's also been playing through different mods of Deus Ex, and she has been um, trying out other, uh, other um, what do you call it? immersive sims. So that's why she's been trying out Prey, System Shock. Uh, she also has some other games that she's working on, uh, thinking about playing, uh, including the original Fallout, which I haven't ever really seen a full playthrough of, so I'm kind of curious to see that. Uh, but, uh, let's see here. Okay, there's the, there's the shout out. So if you like penguins and you like old games and, and immersive sims, check her out. She also does fantasy games on Fridays. Right now she's playing through Baldur's Gate 3 as Shadowheart, not playing with a, uh, you know, original character. She's using one of the, uh, origin characters, which has been pretty cool seeing how the story, I always say this, but it's the story and, like, the dialogue is slightly different if you're playing one of the main characters. Uh, so that's been that's been really interesting to see how the game kind of changes if you're playing as one of the main characters. Um, and she oh, she's also she's also making progress on romancing uh, Carlac as one does. So uh, get ready for some tiefling love there. Uh, let me see here. And when five will watch my zooming coming to a scre coming to a screeching halt. Uh, as soon as I get to the actual scary ones. I mean, you don't seem too easily scared, Fievel. I think you'll- <laughs> so far you seem like you're doing all right. Karlak is the best one. Yeah, we love a big, big strong woman uh, when, when we play these games. Um, Delightful Adopsaurus, how are the cats doing? Uh, I think, I don't- I guess you might not have been here when we mentioned that unfortunately Roger did pass uh, recently. He passed on. Uh, and we do have- we do have that uh, head banging Roger up there that was made in, in Robert, Roger tribute made by Aviator Alligator. Uh, Ozzy is doing all right. Ozzy has no manners whatsoever. He still tries to steal my food. <laughs> we'll see if we can get him on camera at some point. Um, he'll be hanging out in the window right now. We're gonna sneak in there and get the camera on him. But uh, but uh, yeah, Roger has Roger has passed on to the, the big cat box in the sky, and uh, we do miss him. But uh, we're you know all the love that everyone's been showing him and everything uh it it's really kind of warmed our hearts uh leaf and eyes hearts uh and and like i said today is spyro Sun or it's not well it's scaly sunday but it is also spyro sunday he'll always be a legend yes and five will actually did some really nice tribute art lately as well do i still have that i, I did post it on my discord um as well and i i might add it to the uh 
the little art reel on the starting soon screen. I'd gotta figure out, you know, um, you know, just re re reset up all that stuff. Uh, and let me see, anything else? Any other shoutouts I need to do? Yeah, he he was. I mean, he was old when we adopted him. We kind of knew he wouldn't be here for a long time. We, we were hoping he'd be here a little longer, but we didn't even know he'd make it like the whole year that we had him. So that was, you know, it was very, you know, because when, when we first got him and we hoped the vet, they weren't too sure. Um, but you know, he he did stick around longer than we expected, which was good, but also never long enough, sadly. Um. Oh, and it is St. Patrick's Day, isn't it? Well, happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I know the tradition is to wear to wear green. I am wearing green today. I'm actually wearing a green shirt with a picture of a dinosaur on it, as one does. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go ahead. Oh. I don't know what I did. I just I just uh, smacked the shoulder button, but luckily I didn't mess anything up. So we are gonna be playing Spyro Reignited. Last stream we just got to the last world. Uh, of course. Of course, there is more to do. <laughs> Let me scoot my avatar over. We can't. You can't see my little tail. <clears throat> you cannot see my little tail. There we go. And so we are on the last world. However, like I mentioned before, I don't know how long. Uh, there's not. I mean, I don't know how long it'll take me to beat the last area. Uh, as you can see, it's not quite as large as the other worlds. Uh, but after we do beat all these levels and defeat Nasty Nork, we will also go back and we will uh, do all of the flying levels all in one stream. So uh, we, we do intend we do intend on 100%ing or 120%ing the game. Um, game audio seems a little quiet. A little bit. We crank that up just a tiny bit. I mean, it might just be a quiet area. But yeah, and now now this world is different. We have to do each one kind of in order. Um, but I think we got it. And I love the theme of this world. It's kind of like a little, it's just like a, a big, it's a big like ocean area. But yeah, we are close. To, we're finally at last. We are at last close to the end. Nasty Nork is going to get what's coming to him. Ooh, this guy just comes in. He just comes in, doesn't he? Oh no! Oh yeah. And of course we are we are black with sunglasses. That's what chat. Uh, well, that's what was redeemed last time. I did remember to turn my spiral redeems on this time. If you want to redeem, if you want to redeem some other colors or, or whatever else is in there. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. So yes, we are getting closer to the final showdown with Nasty Nork himself. Oh, I didn't even check uh, what all is in what all is in this level. Let's see, two dragons. That's it. Just two dragons and four hundred coins or gems. And of course, we are fire fire breathing dragon, but we cannot survive jumping into the lava. So do not do that. Look at this guy. <laughs> and how's everyone doing on this Sunday? Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh man, we went flying. Get out of here. I got any plans for this Sunday? I'm actually gonna go and see a friend later today. Have a little visit with a friend. Oh. And I'll be editing more of my uh, my uh, VODs as well. I'm currently editing the VOD from our first Hot Off of Boyfriend stream back from uh, Valentine's Day. Unfortunately, it's about four and a half hours, <laughs> so it's taking me a little while to like, go through and, and edit it and everything. Uh, turns out there's, you know, a bunch of stuff I want to just kind of trim out of it. Just like, you know, long, long pauses while I'm waiting for polls to finish up. Uh, there's, you know, other other little things here and there. Um, you know, tech issues, trim that out. Just trim it down a little bit so it's not quite four and a half hours long. <laughs> we went on for long that stream and I, I decided I will not edit out the part where I was crying. I will leave that in there. D&D <clears throat> game today. 
That sounds fun. What what kind of I might have already asked this. What kind of character do you play? We gotta get we gotta get back on it. Playing a game while you watch? What are you playing? What what are you what are you what game are you working on? Let's save this dragon here. Cosmos. Ooh. Thank you for rescuing me. I like his little he got the little scepter. Here, we'll, we'll we'll play him twice as we do. Hi, Spyro. For rescuing me. <laughs> his little scepter and his little the way his little horns have decorations on them. Rescuing. <laughs> uh, let's see. You're you're playing uh, Honkai Star Rail. I think uh, Pop Twunk's been playing that too lately. It's like the space. You're up in space on like a train. Like a sci-fi RPG. And Fival is beating the final boss of Dragon Quest Builders 1, barely hanging on. Oh my gosh, good luck. Good luck. We're wishing you the best. I know we can flame these rats to get our Firefly back, but I don't feel right about hurting the rats. They're just vibing, see? They're not even... They're just sniffing. <laughs> they're just looking. Rat jam, yeah? <laughs> Catching up on some work today. Well, I guess that's good. I mean, it's not really that fun to be working, but getting caught up always feels good. Might buy some games. I did see the Steam sales been going on. I have a couple of things from my wish list that are on sale and I'm trying to hold back. I'm like trying to tell myself Steam has sales all the time. You don't have to buy them right now. But I'm like, wow, but those discounts, though, but those discounts, though. But yes, I did <laughs> the Steam sale. There's there's quite a lot going on on there and quite a few of my games that I want to play are, are, are discounted. But you know what? Even if I bought them now, I would not get around to streaming them until after I beat all these other games that I'm playing. So like, why not wait until it's closer to the time I want to stream them? Because by then there might even be a better sale by then. Maybe, or it'll be full price by the time I <laughs> get around to playing them. But yeah, go, but go, if you have the extra money and you want to like treat yourself to a game, definitely do it during the Steam sales. Bought the remaining Resident Evil games you didn't have. Well, see, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Too many, there's so many games. Like, I think I might have- oh shoot. I've got like, I think a hundred games on my wish list. I mean, some of it's DLC as well on my wish list, but there's like a hundred games. And it's like stuff that I'm just kind of curious about. Like, it's not necessarily like, oh, I gotta play this immediately, but it's stuff like, oh, that looks really fun. I want to try that sometime. So I just like add it to my wish list. But now it's like the list has gone up to like a hundred games. <laughs> <laughs> but some stuff I'm, I probably won't do on stream. Some of it's going to be just games just for me. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> there's a bunch of stuff I would like to play. Oh gosh, we are, we are... Okay. Get it together, get it together. Uh, Fival, do you have a favorite Resident Evil so far? I know you probably just started five, but I think there's like eight of them or something, like eight or nine Resident Evils. Uh, but yeah, do you have a favorite so far? Jackalope says 87 on your wish list. <laughs> the one with Leon. Yeah, I love, I love Leon. I was, I, I, I get kind of squeamish about like zombie horror games, but I was watching some other streamers play them, and I, I just really love Leon, like especially in the remakes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's Raspberry. Oh my God! Look, it's a big boy. Better be on the lookout for me. Yeah, Leon is so goofy. Like, I feel like he might be like trying to be like a cool, edgy ex cop guy, but he's kind of a dork. <laughs> and like, his little quips are very funny. <laughs> we, we like Leon, and he's very cute and pretty as well. Hi, Spyro. We play the big boy. Better be on the lookout for me. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so that, that emote Lady Flip posted from uh, Oh, that's Raspberry. She did. I think that might have been her plate that I watched playing the Resident Evil remake. 
Uh, and so she did a little, a uh, little Leon emote. Very cute. I think she has a, she might have made a Claire emote as well. I'm not sure though. Or it was Ada, I don't know, she, she, she has a couple of Resident Evil emotes, I think. Oh yeah, the dragons are repeat dragons. Uh, I don't know, I'm not sure why they didn't make new dragons for this area, but I guess presumably the dragons you rescued tried to stop Nork again, but then got turned to stone again. Uh, and delightful Dilophosaurus has never played a Resident Evil game. Uh, well, I don't know if, I mean, they, a lot of it is like, I know it's a classified as a horror game. I don't know if it's necessarily like, it's not, it's kind of like, scary in the sense that it's like zombies and gore and stuff which is is it more like a gross kind of horror rather than like a getting jump scare forward and like a lot of it is not even like survival horror because you got weapons you can shoot stuff you can you can knife things you can defend yourself uh there's a lot of puzzles though hog oh it's gone <laughs> um but yeah, it's, a little, it's a little too a little too gross for me i think but it is fun to watch other people play it And of course, we, we we love the merchant from from four. He he just he loves Leon so much. Maybe it's because it's Leon. He's Leon's like his only customer, I guess. <laughs> he's so excited when you go to buy things from him, and when you do the the mini game with the uh, the shooting range, he gets so excited. <laughs> it's it's so precious. <laughs> oh, I do not get. Do not get hit by the paint gun or whatever he is blasting. Oh, that was a short level. Although, I think we're missing a key for one of the boxes we saw earlier. Let's see. Yeah, there's like 400 gems in this one, so maybe... What a beautiful sunset. Yeah, Resident 1 was creepy, 2 is less, 3 was less, 4 was less, 5 is just co-op shooter in 2009, which is kind of sad. Oh, the scare factor. Yeah, I wonder if they wanted to make it more, like, campy horror than just, like, spooky horror. Like, maybe they figured after the first game, the players would kind of get an idea of, like, oh, well, you know, you go to the haunted house, but, and then the scary laboratory, but there are, you can't really... You know, maybe they thought you couldn't really scare the players more after the first one, so they didn't want to repeat the formula. So they're just like, you know what? Let's have some big monsters and just go in blasting. I mean, some of the monsters are pretty grotesque, though, and like that can be kind of scary in itself. Like in the in four, where they're all like, I don't know, bug plant monsters or something. This they're creepy. Whatever the heck is going on there. Uh, leech off the trend of shooters. Uh, shooters with a brown and muted colors. <laughs> Could be. Could have been that's what was popular at the time. Uh, I need sparks to show me where to go. What did we miss here? Oh, right. There's stuff up here we did. Oh god, not the speed. Not the speed ramp. All right. Well. <laughs> That's probably what we need to open up that locked treasure chest. All right, well, we'll go it. We'll, we'll give it a go. Where was that chest, by the way? I don't remember. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, shoot. We should actually go back and try to find where that chest was. Of course, they give us all these narrow, these narrow bridges to run across. All right, so we're gonna. Okay. Okay, there's the ramp. So we're gonna take the ramp. We're gonna go down here. Oh, there's stuff up, up top. We're gonna take the ramp. We go down. We go all the way around. We oh. Okay, yeah, it gets real narrow. Take this. Okay, so it's not that far. We just gotta be really careful, especially at that last part where it's 
branching off here. Okay. Go. And we will have to get good at good at running when we fight Nasty Nork himself, so I guess this is good practice. Um a lot of the, the, the final nasty Nork fight will involve running. Well, well, oh, too, too wide. Too wide of a turn there. It's interesting how this last world, the levels are pretty small compared to the other worlds. Well, we should give the players something before Nasty Nork, but, you know... Oh no! Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> I might- my steering- my steering is not so good. <laughs> it couldn't be harder than treetops, though. It can't be harder than treetops. Oh, oh my gosh, okay. Get yourselves lined up. Oh, oh shoot, man, I'm struggling. We can get it. Gotta focus. is oh we do have to get up there don't we hmm how do we get up there i wonder if we have to use the speed boost to give us to give ourselves a jump point man hmm. all right let's backtrack a little to figure that out did we go up here yet oh i don't think we went up here yet that could be... that could be the answer. Oh wait, no, this is where we came in. This is where we came in. Hmm. Pointing! He's pointing back. How do we get up here? Nothing is as bad as treetops. True. easy level and there's always something you gotta hunt for. Maybe, back, maybe we are back and tracking too far, we just need to go back to where Sparks is pointing. Let's get the start of the level and see if there's anything. Any secret passageways? So let's, let's see if we can We can jump up on those pipes. Looks safe to jump on them. Point he's pointing over there, so let's go back. Hello, rats. <laughs> Where are you pointing? He's pointing at, like, at that, like, that, I don't know what you call it, that thing in the middle there. How do we get up there? Oh, wait, now he's pointing. Okay, he's pointing up top. How do we get up top? Oh shoot, no! Okay. <laughs> we goofed. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, 
But we are at 13 lives though, so we have to re-enter that 99 life cheat. Fyro does blend in with the shadows. We could change his color. You know, it is St. Patrick's Day. We could turn him green. Hi, Octarix. Welcome, welcome. We are trying to figure out how to find these last couple gems today. Where do we get up there? Oh, yeah, it is St. Patrick's Day. Yep. Yeah, let's let's, yeah, let's, let's change him green for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> let's do it. Um, all right, let's see, let's see, let's see. We do a, we, we do a up, left, down, right, up, square, R1, R2, L1, L2, up, right, down, left, up, uh, and for green, we will end it with a, uh, triangle. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, Fable's hair is greenish blue. Does that count? I'd say so. Also, let me give a quick shout out to Octarix, the gator. What have you been up to? We went back. What is that? Is that a horror game? I know you've been playing a lot of horror games lately. You seem like you find games that are very, that I've never even heard of. So tell us about it. A free to play horror game. <laughs> you've been doing a lot of those. Yeah, look, we're green. We are green for St. Patrick's Day. We're so cool. <laughs> okay, now that now we still gotta now we now the fun the fun. I mean the fun's not over. But we gotta figure out how to get up there. Got to figure out. I'm wondering if we're gonna need that that speed boost and somehow launch ourselves. Oh, what's that? Yeah. That's sneaky. Okay, I get it. We do use the speed boost for that. Well, all right then. <laughs> we make our own ramps here. Oh no, you had to you had to, you had to uninstall Arsenate because the AI was updated and now it's more unfair. Oh no. Oh. Hmm. Shoot. Okay. Uh That again. See, uh, yeah, see, Doctor X. I know, like, when games are so hard that they're like not even fun, like not even fair. It's like, why would they do that? There we go. Like at that point, like, like why would you be hostile towards the player? You know, it should be a fun challenge, but not like impossible. Something that frustrates me with like fighting games where the harder difficulties, um, it seems like like it reads your controller inputs basically. And it's like, well, a real player wouldn't be acting like that. Like a real opponent wouldn't be doing that. They're not gonna know what buttons I'm pushing. Okay, there we go. Now we finish the level. There we go. There we go. Uh, what's the fastest way to the exit? I'll just follow the path. We have done it. One more level down. Oops. Oops. And just mosey on to the exit. Oh, you rewatched Dinosaur. I like that one. I like that movie. Uh, I mean, it was, it was weird. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, uh, it's been so long since I've seen it. I remember when the trailer first came out for it, I thought it was going to be like a Land Before Time remake, uh, but then it ended up being its own movie. And I was like, this is like, this is a good movie. But you know, I, that was also, I was young when I saw it. So I don't know how well it holds up. Uh, I do have one of the games I'm actually thinking about playing is the, uh, the GBA or no, sorry, the Game Boy Color, uh, the game, like the, the dinosaur the movie the game uh on, on game boy color uh which i enjoyed when i was a kid as well something about playing that on stream at some point <laughs> i 
remember i remember uh i think like my parents got it for me for my birthday like i, I didn't really like it was a game like i had asked for my birthday but i guess they knew i like dinosaurs so they're like here the dinosaur the movie the game <laughs> and i remember enjoying it at the time wait we're already on nasty nork we're already we're already on the boss Ooh. oh we're why the lemurs yeah i, I get you know what that is <laughs> the lemurs I guess that is a weird, that is, that is a choice. Now this door we get once we get the whole, once we 100% the game. So I guess, yeah, I guess we are on the boss. Are we ready to get nasty? Are we, are we ready to get nasty chat? Will today be the day? Now I remember this being, this did take me a lot of tries. So I know the Lemurs were not around at the time <laughs> in the same time as the dinosaurs. <laughs> Let's get nasty. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can't guarantee this. I'll get it on my first try, uh, but I'll do my best because I know when I played this before, it took me multiple tries. Like I would have to like take a break and then play it the next day and try again. Like it took me <laughs> first try. Come on. You know what? Do you want me to make a do you want to make a, uh, a, a jamble, a gamble so we can see you guys can gamble as to see whether I'll get him first try? I mean, I'm not personally confident that I'll get him first try, but I have played this game before. So maybe the muscle memory, you know, maybe maybe the muscle memory is, is still in there, you know? Oh, that's right. You can't five because for some reason, uh, a jam oh, I mean, the <laughs> we call it jamble. The Twitch, the what do you call it? Like, what do they call it? Prediction? <laughs> the twi the gamble that's not really a gamble, but for some reason, like where five lives, I guess his country, they, they outlaw it because it's like related to I guess it's gambling laws, but it's not gambling because you don't pay money for you don't pay money for Twitch predictions. But uh, will we get nasty for first try? That's your vote. And then we can have yes, I believe. No, I don't believe. Grammatically correct. Put your commas in there. Yeah, we we we, we call it a jamble. But uh, oh, I can make I can make multiple multiple questions. I mean, multiple outcomes. Well, we'll do the we'll do. Uh, so we'll make that vote for go we'll do two minutes, uh, and you can predict whether we will get nasty first try. <laughs> yeah, you can't gamble your fictional points that you haven't spent money on because the law that freely allows actual online gambling, no problem. <laughs> So weird. I'm sorry about that, Fievel, but you can still let us know whether you believe, Fievel. <laughs> it's technically... Oh, I guess you can pay money through a sub to get bits, and I guess that's how they justify it. I guess, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I'll let you guys get your votes in while I uh, start this first area here. And there, there is... There is Nork. There is Nasty himself. I'm gonna grab. Actually, Nork, can you hold on a minute while I grab the treasure? Just give me a give me a minute, sir. Also, there's no dragons in this one, right? Okay, yeah, just one of the gems. Okay. No, no cheeky I'm dragons. Putting my lips oh. on that. <laughs> putting your lips on Nork. <laughs> we do love a big. We we do love a big tough monster man in here. <laughs> we do love a big strong monster man. <laughs> Let me just hold on. Hold on. Oh shoot! Nork, hold your horses. Hold, hold up. We gotta. Let me. Hold on, sir. Sir, hold, hold on. I'm grabbing treasure here. Hold on. Oh, not this guy. Oh no. Oh no. Not this guy. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna grab the treasure here. See what I mean? You gotta do nothing but like running in the nasty arc level. It's just such a pain. You better be good at running for this last part of the game. Put an extra zero and went all in. <laughs> nasty Nork means means business. <laughs> well, you know what? It's the final boss. We gotta we gotta be high rollers here. All right. First we gotta do this. First we gotta do this. Oh God, it's, these guys are such a pain. I get so. Oh, shoot. Also, was there... Did I see treasure back here? Is there just lighting probably made it weird? Funding the believers. <laughs> Funding the... Ble 
All right, so so this might this might take a couple tries because I hate these running guys, but uh, we, 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 oh boy, oh boy. I mean, if we can get him, oh, shoot. Okay, I think we can't actually. I think he's too fast to like stop and flame. Oh, the entire nasty narc segment is like almost all running. So <laughs> we got it. Oh man. Green nasty narc for St. Patty's Day. Yep. <laughs> oh, shoot. I might have to. Also, the camera angles I think are throwing me off a little. Cut him off at the pass. Oh shoot. Oh, oh. Almost. Almost. Okay. Okay. We got. Get him. Get him around the side. Oh, he might have. Oh, there he is. Oh, get him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, step one. Step one. <laughs> step one completed. We got the key. <laughs> step one. Okay, so now there is a door we use that on. I think. Where's the door? Is it here? We have to do this many times. See, there's another dude. And eventually we get to Nork himself. <laughs> eventually. Oh, shoot. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Come, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh shoot, oh shoot, we can't, oh no! Okay, let me actually, I need to pull up my window so I can see a little bit better here. Okay. Everybody's green, yeah! What a coincidence, Nork's green, the little guys are wearing green robes. Oh shoot! Did it actually even quick save when I got that first key? I'm kind of hoping so. Um, no, it looks like it didn't quick save after the first key. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a pain. And I know uh, Nasty York first, first try. Um, I mean, when we get to Nork himself, not these not these little dudes. If I die chasing these guys, that that doesn't count. I mean, when we get to the man, you know. I messed it up. I think I messed it up. I messed it up. Oh. <gasps> okay, step one. Step one. So this camera angle feels. All right. Well. Hold on, Nark. Hold on, buddy. I'll get you in a minute. Okay. So we're gonna actually take this slow. Grab the gems. Let him run. Get a feel for the actual path we're taking here. Get a feel for it. All right, so this is where it gets hard. So we got to make sure we turn left. And I think we can kind of slow down on some of this so we don't have to be, you know, we can maybe we can slow down on the curves a little bit and then pick up speed on the straightaways. Maybe there's kind of a trick to it, I think. Now, where does he- where does he go? I ever need the other key for that? Okay. Uh, oh, dang it! And there's no heals on this level, which is kind of a pain. But I feel like it quick saves at some point. Oh, these curves are such a pain. Step two, step two, step two. Cosmonaut, welcome! You, wait, you teleported, but stop teleporting, Cosmonaut, stop teleporting, Red! It's very dangerous. <laughs> oh, man. One day, one day we're gonna, one, one day we're gonna go and watch those Team Fortress 2 videos on like a little movie night or something, because they're very funny. Uh, playing Left 4 Dead 2, and I think you said your favorite was Lewis. Doing a quick shout out for you, real quick. Also stretching out my uh, my limbs here, li limbering up before we. Because I think the next part is going to be Nork. And yes, we are all green. Unfortunately, a green firefly means your firefly is close to, to no HP. But we are all green. <laughs> we, we, it is true. We are all green now. Every single one of us. <laughs> 
so I think now we can go to Nork. And the poll was, will we get, or the prediction was, will we get Nork first try? And I gotta get, let me actually scoot my keyboard out of the way so I don't accidentally, like, hit some button and mess it up while I'm doing this. Okay. Um, will we get Nasty Nork first try? And Lady Flint's going all in on this, too. Alright, keyboard is out of the way. Controller, I'm sitting up straight. Controller is out. Oh, he's, Spyro's getting, Spyro's getting ready, his haunches. Will we get him first try? Oh shoot! Well, <laughs> we didn't get him first try. <laughs> I was kind of hoping I'd go a little farther than that before falling right into the drink. All right, well, we'll, <laughs> we'll pay out the non-believers, I guess. <laughs> hold on, Nark, hold on. My gosh, this guy. All right, well, <laughs> we didn't get him first try. <laughs> we, maybe we'll do another. Oh, do I have to do? Do I have to do the guys again with the little? Oh my god, I have to do. I have to do the key guys again. I thought it quick saved after you did that segment. Shoot. Well, that's annoying. That's annoying, but that's okay. We we know how to do this. Cut him off at the pass. Oh shoot! Not, didn't quite cut him off at the pass. not gonna have us do an actual fight. We gotta... Oh. Okay. Just gotta get good at running. Okay. The allure of the purple soup. Oh, the... the, 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 the whatever that is. The toxic water, yeah. Yeah! I didn't think I'd get it first try, but I was really hoping I could go a little further than that. <laughs> like, at least get close to knocking him out. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I think at some point it does quick save, like there's a checkpoint, but I guess it's not until a little bit later in the in the chase. That's okay, though. Whoa! Okay, take it slow. We have to... Yeah, yeah. Get your heart out, buddy. There we go. Easy. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna get Nork, probably. Okay. Let's actually take this slow. Get those gems and see what our actual path is before we start going in just zooming and falling right into the drink. Because <laughs> I think it's pretty messed up. We didn't actually like slowly observe the, the path we were supposed to take. Sorry for believers. I thought I, I thought I could just <laughs> do it. Get these. Get those gems. I think if I remember some of this stuff, so like, I think, I think it's not until later, there's like a, you know, you can get a little bit faster by going a certain part of the run. So there's, was it, was it like if you go, I don't remember. I know there's like a trick to it though, like we have to like kind of jump across these like sharp corners or something. Maintain your speed. Gosh, this route is so long. Now luckily he's not really gonna smack us. Um, he just keeps running. See, I think there's like a trick to it. Give it a go. We'll get it. I might make this first segment go a little bit long just so we can hopefully get him today. Oh! Dang it, Nork. Come up 
pass. Dang it. Oh, there we go. Step one. Yeah, I, I love the GBA ones. Uh, when I was a kid, I really liked them. Um, I might I might do those at some point too. I was thinking I was thinking about talking to Lady Flip about this. I'm like I might be spiraled out after the first one and then take a break from Spyro and come back to it. But I'll see how I feel because the GBA ones. Did I just get hit while that thing was opening? Uh, but I am thinking about because those ones I did really like. I forgot what they were called. Like um, I think they actually did make a. They made, if I'm remembering right, wasn't there a, a, they did Spyro 3 on Game Boy Advance 2, didn't they? But then there was also like, um, like the Season of Fire and the Season of Ice or whatever. Um, please. Yeah. Yeah, they were fun. You're... You are only 10 followers away from your slumber party goal. Let's go, get... Oh, Attack of the Rhinox. I might have, that might have been one of the other ones I played, too. I don't remember. I, I definitely played one of the season ones. Oh, gosh, I'm... <laughs> him right when he goes <sighs> shoot okay step two now we go back to nark <laughs> now we go back to nark <laughs> okay oh, oh, oh. all right all right yeah if uh, <laughs> if you want to see octarix with his summer party special stream uh give him a follow or if you just like gators playing horror games. Take a little drink of some, uh, my smoothie here. Bring another prediction? Uh, yeah, we can do that. We can do Will This Be The Run, maybe. <laughs> Oops, did I actually click the wrong thing? Or we could have, since I have multiple outcomes, we could have, like... We'd have, like, how many, how many, uh, tries, maybe? Uh, how many tries? Outcome one can be, uh, this is the run. Two can be two tries. Three tries. How about, no, two to, two to three tries. Um, no, we'll, do, oh, we'll just do two tries, three tries. I don't know how many predictions let you go. Four tries. Five tries. <laughs> How many can you do? I don't think you do a lot of them. Okay, you know what? We'll do here. We'll do three tries, and then we'll do four to five tries, and then we'll do more than five tries. How about that? We'll do we'll do five total options. We'll make the prediction one minute. Okay, let's try the multiple. Let's try the multiple ones. All right, so we got we do another prediction. We got is this the run? We got will we get it the next try? Within three tries, four to five tries, or more than five tries. Get your votes in now. Vote. Vote while you can. I'll start when uh, I'll start when when the poll runs out, because if, if I say that if you guys say this is the run, but then I don't get it, then you'll know to not vote for that one. <laughs> so I'm going to wait. I'll also give myself a big stretch here. Oh, it looks like there's some, some confidence it'll take me two more tries. Some com a lot of confidence it'll take me more than five tries. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> yeah, I guess statistically, four to five tries, it's like you get two other options, but okay. So we'll, okay, it looks like the poll has closed. And which one will it be? Will this be the run? I'm gonna try really hard for you guys who, who had confidence in me. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do it for you guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. Maybe I should practice. I know there's a trick to this though. I'm just gonna remember what the trick the trick is. I can kinda of skip the corners or something. And we can't just like cut him off at the pass, we gotta actually like kinda get it while he's going. So I'm gonna kind of do some radio silence here. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, well, <laughs> it wasn't this one. Oh shoot! Okay, thank you for counting. Counting my mortis there. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, we gotta do this part again. All right. <laughs> I hate you, little guys. You're such a pain. I guess this is practicing my running though. Oh, Spyro, please. I guess this does help practice my running though. You little goobers. Sorry guys, I'll get it as soon as I can. Okay, got the first one. We're getting a little bit better at doing those guys. Oh, oh, oh. kinda messed that up. It's getting better at that phase. The question is, can we get Nork? The whole strategy of this is just, has the player learned how to do the running? Now what I can't remember is when we get close enough, do we have to headbutt him or fire or does it not matter? I feel like you actually have to actually use your fire on him. Get his little butt. Uh, is, it, is it faster if we try to hop up here? No, I don't think so. This part is what gets me. All right, that's death number two. That's death. That's Mortis number two. Oh man. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you better run. You better run. Close enough. <laughs> I think I saw Reggie in chat. Welcome on in. Well, last time I said I was doing better at this part, but oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, try and remember if you need to jump the gap rather than follow the path. It gets curvy and winding. Yeah, there, there's a trick to it, and I'm trying to remember what the trick was. I think it is you have to skip some of the, the curves there. You have to like. Nork will take the path, but you can kind of jump over parts of it. Um, 
the other door. <laughs> I really wish it quick saved after you got these parts, though. I mean, it is nice to kind of practice running, but like, I really want to get back into the the actual fight. Fight. Uh, also, hello, Ragey. Welcome on in, Ragey. We are we are finally here. We are at the nastiest part of the game. <laughs> we are about to. We are about to get nasty. We're trying to, anyway. Oh man, I'm having a hard time all of a sudden. I got it like right away before. Getting a little flustered, perhaps. Oh shoot, I missed him. Yeah, got him. Okay, my hands are getting sweaty. Let me dry them off. <laughs> How are you doing, though, Ragey? Oh shoot, we're having an ad break. All right, so let's give this a third try. I might even, you know what, I might, I mean, if you guys are okay with it, I might skip my reading segment if we haven't finished this before segment two, I'll take a break, but we might, instead of doing reading today, we might try to do an arc today because this is like the end of the game. Uh, but we'll see how, how far I get when we get to reading time. This is where I was messing up. Or no, it wasn't here, but it was... It was here, I was getting kind of messed up. So yeah, I think we do want to try to... Because we can't really get that close to him if we just go the path. But I think we're kind of getting there. Oh, I'm just going to bounce off of him. Okay. I think we do have to flame him. Oh no! is so hard. Ah, oh, death number three. Oh. Okay. So we gotta take a really sharp turn, or maybe we can just slow down on that part and then speed back up. All right, you. All right, so people who predicted I'll get it within my four or fifth try, we're on. We're on you guys now. I can run another prediction in a little bit. I don't have a more than five tries option, but we can we can maybe run a more specific one, but Okay. First one. Oh, and we did turn Spyro green for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> for the theme. <laughs> I know that's probably not an actual tradition in Ireland, but I know that <laughs> I know Americans are probably kind of weird about St. Patrick's Day. Uh, <laughs> like the stuff we do here is probably nothing to do with the actual holiday itself. And we decide, you know, we're all green, the enemies are green, Nork's green, Spyro's green. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nork again. Oh. All right, <laughs> take it, take it away, Spyro. Let's give it a go. <laughs> once more, once more. Some gentle taps on the control stick. Gentle taps. I have such a hard time with that part. Ah, it's that that sharp turn. That's what gets me. You gotta believe in Nork. <laughs> I wonder. Do I need those keys, or can I get it in there after getting the first key? I wonder.
probably do need both. first key. Now will this work on Nork's little spot? It probably only works on that big door, but let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Because if we only need the one key, that'll that'll speed things up a little bit. Okay, looks like we need both keys. Darn. No! <laughs> please, Nork, please. Please. I'm just a little guy. <laughs> All right, let's give. Oh boy, let's give this a try. Let's give this a try. Hey, I don't suppose we can just flame him from, from without doing it the the long way. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, get it together. Get it together. Now we're gonna really sharp turn coming up here. I wonder if it's better to not be zooming at that sharp turn spot. Because if we we just skip a lot of these little corners, I don't know. To get up on that other platform. Uh, sir? Oh! <laughs> okay, that was weird. <laughs> I think he's supposed to start running right off right away, but... And then is there a way to get... He's kind of a, he's he, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. That wasn't that wasn't actually so bad. Uh, okay. Okay. Now that might be a checkpoint for us. Now we haven't actually beaten Nork yet, so we're still on try number five, I think. Flame him from the front. I thought you had to get him from the, his butt. But we kind of got him from like the front or the side on that one. So when you just dry the sweat off my hands. <laughs> See, I got the gamer sweat. <laughs> Spyro, please, no butts. <laughs> this dude is just like a cat. So this might actually be a checkpoint. So we got another chasing sequence. I hope it's a checkpoint. Pay it out, start now. Yeah, go ahead. People who voted between four and five get that one. You know what? Let's do it. Oh, you can't. That's right, because you voted. You voted in the prediction. <laughs> yeah, we'll pay out. We'll pay out this one, because that's phase one. So we're on phase two. So let's pay out, uh, choose outcome. So it was between four and five. Pay him out. Pay him out. Pay him out. <laughs> and now we'll say phase two. Will I get phase two first try? How about that? So with it, don't spend it all in one place or do. <laughs> Uh, phase two, first try. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Or... Nah. Okay, and we'll make that a one minute prediction. Get predicted. Phase two, first try, let's go. <laughs> I know Lady Flip wants those trilbies. She... <laughs> she... 
because if you vote, if the moderator makes it, the moderator can't vote. So <laughs> she wants though phase two first try. What do you think, guys? I think there's more running involved in this one, so we gotta be careful. Or maybe this is just a platforming part. I don't remember. This might just be platforming. You believe, Fievel believes whether or not he gets the money. I mean, the, the trilbies. <laughs> okay, let's, let's have to do a big stretch here also. Oh. So, right, making sure my microphone gain isn't too high, because I was editing my VOD from Valentine's Day, and I think my microphone gain was really high. You could hear my breathing sounds, and it was just annoying. <laughs> I was like, why am I breathing so loud? You don't get or lose anything. It's a win-win. <laughs> okay. So let's go and give it a go. Oh, careful. Oh no. Oh, oh no. The platforms. The platforms. No. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. The platforms. The platforms. My platforms. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, phase two, first try. <laughs> or wait, we, we beat him? Oh! That was way easier than the running part. That was way easier than the running part. I'll pay you guys out after the cutscene. <laughs> Sorry I took so long. I almost forgot about you guys. What about Ganasty Ganor? Nasty Nork is toast. <laughs> so now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Uh, well, mostly. I've still got some treasure yeah. to find. We what missed some will stuff. you do next? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say the sky's the limit. He means that literally because we got to do the flying levels. <laughs> he means that literally. <laughs> well, thank you for joining me, guys. Uh, let me pay out the believers. Why was phase two so easy compared to the first one? I mean, it was scary because, uh... It was scary because the platforms were, like, disappearing, but, like... <laughs> oh, and look at all the artwork! It's all of our friends! Ah! No one put any points into belief, so your points are getting <laughs> eviscerated! <laughs> Oh yeah, I, Spyro is such, like, back in from my childhood, but also, like, the remake is really rekindling a lot of that nostalgia. Little Spyro being helpful. Look at them all. <laughs> He's helping. He's helping. <laughs> this game makes me smile. <laughs> so when... So yeah, he did say the sky's the limit, because we gotta do the flying levels. Uh, so we'll do that, I think, next time we do Spyro. Uh, which will be in about two weeks. We'll do more Spyro and we'll try to do the flying levels. We're gonna try to do them all in one stream. We'll we'll see. <laughs> but uh, if I don't pull my hair out, uh, oh, office pets. We got the office pets are in the credits. Admiral Nimitz and Tenderfoot, Ally the fighting kitten, Bob Brook, Bubaloo, Honey Mimi. Uh, oh shit, it's going too fast. I can't read them all. But I hope the pets the pets are credited. <laughs> Always credit your pets. <laughs> There you go. Oh, look at him rocking out. He's so tiny compared to the adults. <laughs> Tenderfoot is a warrior cat. I've never read Warrior Cats. I know that was really popular back in the day and people would make their own like cat OCs. Uh, it's like one of those novels I never read though. Maybe I, maybe I could find a copy of it and read it on stream. I mean, it's like a kid's book, but like, you know what? It could be fun. You're such a Warrior Cats kid. <laughs> Maybe I'll, maybe I'll find a copy and read it sometime, because that's like a book I missed out on when I was young. But I know it was very popular. I think it was a whole series of novels, wasn't it? It's about cats. It's a kid's book full of cat war crimes. Is it, So wait, is it, <laughs> is it not really a kid's book? <laughs> is, it, <laughs> is it like how like Animorphs is technically like young, young people literature, but it's also very dark. <laughs> Which I've never read Animorphs either, but I did watch. I did watch the live action show when I was a kid, and I loved it. 
Animorphs could be fun to read on stream, and now I'm thinking about it, it's like furry adjacent. <laughs> it's like people turning into animals, not like anthro, but like turning into animals. That could be fun. I'll find one that's about like, I don't know, I'll find one of the, I don't know, <laughs> find one of the ones that are one of the good ones. <laughs> it's a kid's book, it's real dark, solid death and maiming, oh gosh. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> we could read some dark kid's books on stream, that could be fun. Look at Spyro helping with the sculptures. It, he puts his sunglasses on it, of course. <laughs> oh, they're available online. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll look into that. Cause I, I like. I don't know if people would be like, oh, but Fedora, that's a book for kids. You don't want to read kids. You're 34 years old. But you know what? Animorphs is online. Okay. Yeah, we can find. But you know what? I can read. I can read books aimed for younger audiences and still have fun with it. Plus, it's like nostalgia, you know? Look at Spyro. And Sparks is helping. Aww. <laughs> oh, he's painting! <laughs> he's painting! <laughs> Spyro, you can't do that. <laughs> Spyro, you have to use the canvas. You can't use the man. The mischief. He's such a mischievous little guy. This is, this is delightful. The, the G factory. Oh, look, he draw the little sheeps. And the sheep being crispy. <laughs> look at these big dragons, they're so cute. Spyro really enjoys burning the sheep. off though because the art is like the models and the illustrations and everything is just so well done oh, he's helping with the clock <laughs> he's he's helping fix the clock <laughs> helping in his own special way i guess he was hiding in there and then when it went off he he popped out <laughs> this is so cute This is the best ending. <laughs> it is such a love letter. Oh, look at this big boy. <laughs> They're just sunbathing together. They just <laughs> spiral with his little his little slurpy little unicorn on it. Checking his phone. <laughs> just I guess that I guess he's like a barista dragon and he's he's giving him he's giving Spyro his drink. <laughs> their names but I do remember seeing these guys when we rescued them. I I love <laughs> have a big old dragon give you a coffee. <laughs> Holding the little tray on his tail and the little cup in his wing. Oh my gosh. Too cute. Too cute. Spark sunbathing on the little rock there. Spyro get off of your phone. This is this is this is serious. <laughs> Oh, he's now he's making a cake. <laughs> Spyro is helping. <laughs> Popping out of the cake. <laughs> this is just precious. They drew so many cute little pictures for this. And a very special thanks to Insomniac Games. 
a lot of people. And a super special shout out to all original Spyro the Dragon team members who contributed to the original three games. Aww. No more little pictures, that's okay. <laughs> I think we can unlock uh, some art and stuff as well. In fact, we should see what we can do with our points and uh, unlock some stuff. What a fun little game. I'm glad we did it this stream. I remember that Nork part taking me a long time before, but I guess we did do all right. It took us within five tri- well, we messed up the first try, but I said I guess I guess within like five or six tries, played the fourth game as a kid. It was probably the worst one. It has when you have nostalgia for. I mean, yeah. I mean, it. I don't remember the, if I played the fourth one, but like if it's the one that you had fun with as a kid, and it was the one that you remember fondly, then you know what? It has a special place in your heart. Which one was the one? I think it was the third one where there's like more characters. It was like a penguin character. He's like he's like a he's like soldier from TF2, <laughs> if I remember right. Or is he something else? Is he another creature? I think he was a penguin though. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> and there's like a monkey and a. I don't remember. I think it was the third game that had all those other characters though. I know I know Spyro 2 has uh, the cheetah guy and uh, the fawn lady who everyone loves. I think it's also got money bags. Who's like a. Is he a bear? I don't know. I know they start introducing more characters after the first game, though. <laughs> you need even have the finance department. I wonder how much this money this game costs to make. Yeah, that was a, this was really fun. I think it was very faithful to the original Spyro. As well as being like even more pretty and having more like, you know, more details of the dragon designs. But I think it was very faithful to the original game and having played the original Spyro when I was young, like this really brings back those memories and it looks it looks like how I remember it. Even though obviously PS1 graphics were not anywhere near this impressive, but this is it is close enough that my nostalgia kind of lines up with like this is what I remember it looking like. And the, the tower, like, I remember feeling it feeling like, like when I, the gameplay feels very similar. And loving, I love that we could change the, have the cheat codes for like changing colors and stuff. Ripto's Rage, yeah, Ripto's Rage is the second one, I think. And welcome in, Deckham. Uh, yeah, Ripto, I feel like I played, I feel like I played Ripto first and then played Spyro 1 later. Um, but that's, yeah, Ripto's 2. We could, I don't know if I... I think we want to finish 100%ing the first game, and then we might do Ripto. I haven't decided if I want to jump right into Spyro 2 or play something else and come back to it. Am I going to be all dragoned out for now? But this was a lot of fun. Now we do... <laughs> like I said, we do have the flying levels to do still, and that's going to be... That's not going to be today. <laughs> this is probably going to be... In our next Spyro stream, I think we'll do the flying levels, because we... <laughs> we're <laughs> and we are coming up on... Uh, break time anyway we'll probably do we'll do our little group photo here and then take a break and then uh you know and then, then we'll, we'll do some reading probably a short reading segment today or we could just skip right into puzzle time i do want to take a break though and then i'll see how i feel after break yeah i love yeah ripto's rage is the one that's like about a little like ripto's like a little guy like see the, the villain in this one is like a big like nork is a big guy but ripto Ripto is a little guy. He's he's a little guy. <laughs> Some of his lackeys are pretty big though. But we'll we'll meet him. We'll meet him. Uh, you know, in a, in a future stream. And I think Spyro Two is where you start getting more power ups and uh, 
or you, you can unlock more abilities as you play and have to replay levels to get everything. So it's maybe a little takes a little longer to get everything. I think in Spyro 1, you can pretty much get everything as you play, like right away, and it's pretty quick. But Spyro 2, you gotta backtrack a little bit, uh, replay levels with new abilities. There's also like more like mini games, I think, in the second one. Or maybe the third one is like more mini, has some mini game stuff. I think Spyro 2 is where you have the skateboard levels. If I remember right, those are fun. I like the skateboard levels. <laughs> Get that Tony Hawk action in there. Oh no, Fievel's gonna miss puzzle time. You got stuff to do this afternoon? I'll do puzzles next week, Fievel, too. Don't worry. We'll, we'll do puzzles almost every week. <laughs> oh, skateboard's Spyro 3. Okay, okay. Yeah, I remember, I remember enjoying the skateboard levels. Yeah, there's levels where you have to, like, get on a skateboard and, like, get points <laughs> by skateboarding. <laughs> get that Tony Hawk in there. <laughs> I know it doesn't- it's kind of weird, but I- as a kid, I enjoyed it. Oh, dinner and then Resident Evil 5. Well, no, but have fun- have fun with Resident Evil, though. <laughs> what happened with emotes? <laughs> what emotes were you trying to do? <laughs> They look like, they look, I don't know what the question mark, is that like a nose or something? The hyphen's a nose, I don't know. <laughs> the puzzles are all five old. I'm sorry. Oh, it's a sad face. What, yeah, why, why did the sad face turn into a, that's weird. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> we'll do puzzles next week, don't worry. In fact, we could even, I wonder next week, do we want to start with puzzles before getting into Altered Beast. I don't know, we'll, we'll think about it. <laughs> we could start, we could do Altered Beast in segment two. Or if we fi if we finish 100%ing Altered Beast and we have extra time, we could jump right into puzzles. Because I feel like we've only got like, I want to say four more of the beasts to get the rest of the talismans for. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm thinking, but... We might do a little extra puzzling next time and, and get a head start on those. <laughs> but we'll do it. We'll do it every week. If you don't get it today, you'll get it. You'll get it next time for sure. But definitely eat, eat a good dinner and enjoy your Resident Evil. I'll see if you're live when I when I get ready to straight out. Um, or whoever is live today. Man, these are some long credits. But that's okay though. It's okay to have long credits because you gotta credit all the people who worked on the project and what a great project it was too. You know, I could run an ad during the credits. Cause... Hmm. I feel like the credits might be getting wrapping up though. Retail and sales. They're even they're even thanking the retail folks. You know, it's good to it's good to thank everybody though. Well, oh, you know what else we have to do? You know what else we have to do? We have to do our dragon tier list. I forgot we were gonna do that, Ragey. Yeah, Ragey said we should do a dragon tier list. So maybe we'll do the flying levels, and then we'll do. Maybe the following stream we'll do dragon tier list and vote on who our favorite dragon was. That'll be fun. And then I'll decide whether I want to jump into Spyro 2 or do something else. We'll see. I I, I gotta remember to do the dragon tier list though, because that was <laughs> that's that's something we've been planning for a while. How do I feel about Sly Cooper? I've never played Sly Cooper, if you can believe it. Uh that's the one where you're like a little like raccoon, but you're like a thief, and you're like, it's like is it stealth? It's like a stealth game, right? And you're like a little raccoon. I know it's a really popular one. I've never, I've never played Sly Cooper. I would love them if I like Spyro. Well, I do like Spyro. Maybe I need to. Hmm. What console was that for? Oh, poor Ragey. Poor Ragey missed Sly Cooper, Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, all the, all the mascots. PS2. Off to see. Off to see. I wonder if there's like a. No sheep were harmed during the creation of this game. A few narcs, but no sheep. 
<laughs> oh, here comes the- Oh, look, it's the team! Oh, they got Spyro shirts! Oh, and pup- They got puppies! They got puppies! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. I'll have to look into- I'll have to look into, uh... have to look into, uh, 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 Sly Cooper. Figure out a way to play it. I'll have to figure it out. Maybe I can use a little sun. If there's not a, uh, you know, if there's no remake or port of it, I'll have to figure out a little something. <laughs> the adventure continues. Oh, and boy, does it continue. Now, I wish the thank you for playing screen stayed up longer so I could do our little group photo. But I can do a group photo uh, on the title screen as well. But let me, let me see where it puts us. Uh, let me see where it puts us when it loads. Oh, that's right. We got the other dragon to get here. You know what? Let's talk to him real fast. Let's talk to him real fast. Why not? Magnus! Oh my gosh. Nasty's ancient history now. So what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. Ooh. But the gate will only open if you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100 <laughs> percent Oh Magnus. <laughs> what a big boy. Alright, well. That'll that'll be for our adventure for next time. Uh, so let me get us back to the title screen. We'll we'll continue the adventure. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. All right. Now I think what I do want to do. Oh, that's gonna be loud, isn't it? It's loud. A second. <laughs> okay. Oh, sounds fine. Okay. 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 We're good. All right. So, uh, what I like to do. Uh, when I beat a game, I like to do a little group photo with everybody. So I'll give you guys a couple seconds because of the chat delay to put your best smiling emotes in and we'll all say cheese and we're going to do our little group photo. So get ready for that, everybody. Get get your get your best smiling emotes out. And I'm going to give ourselves a screenshot here in just a couple seconds here. Get out your best get out your best screen, your best smiling emotes. We'll do a group photo screenshot together. <laughs> Get, get your get your smiling face all the beautiful smiling faces <laughs> say cheese everybody say cheese everybody oh no Deckham got here in the credits that's okay <laughs> we can still smile and <laughs> say cheese everybody all right so I'll get you one two wait 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 one two three and we snap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> well, thank you, everybody, for the Spyro segment. Uh, we're going to be wrapping up Spyro segment. I'm going to take a five minute break. And do we have time to do some novel? We can read a little bit today. We'll have a little bit of novel reading time available. I usually start around like 12, 15, 1230. But you know what? We can take a five minute break. We'll read, a, we'll read the next chapter of Song of the Sariels. And then we'll get into puzzles together. So let's jam out. Let's jam out. And I need to go and like pee and stuff and I'll be right back and uh, see you guys real soon.